Hi everyone, this is Todd with Prepper Website, and I am recording this video for an article that I'm uh, writing over at Ed That Matters called Do Dead Preppers Tell Tales? And so with that, I want to go ahead and um, point out a feature on Prepper Website that not a lot of people know. Um, and so if you go over here to the right-hand corner and you do uh, go down to Prepping Topics and you hit Go, you're going to go to the tag cloud and that tag cloud will every article that is ever posted on prepper website uh, has a tag attached to it or sometimes more than one and so if you were ever looking for a preparedness article on any topic you could come here and go straight to it right um, instead of you know going to google and, and, and trying to get through google and, and find uh, an article that way you can do that and so um, the reason I'm making this, though, is because there's some times where um, this this tag cloud has been around right since the very beginning of Prepper website. And sometimes you might click on an article that, you know, you see the title and you're like, man, that's a really that sounds really good. I want to go check that out. And then for whatever reason, it's, it doesn't show up. Uh, it's not there. And so I want to kind of show you something here, uh, two things that you can do. Now, uh, I've already kind of found something just that I wanted to use. Uh, the first one is here under, um, this is the medical tag, right? So if you go medical and you'll find medical and you can just click on that and go there. But anyway, uh, so down here at survival medical supplies, I'm going to click on this one and it is going to open up a doom and bloom uh, website. And, but it's going to say, uh Oh, it's not the end of the world, just a broken link. Now, for whatever reason, um, if you, click on a link on the tag cloud, right, on this one. And it is, it's, you, you go to a website and it looks like the website's there, but for whatever reason, the article is not there. That's because the structure of the links on the website have changed. And so I know Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy have, uh, you know, they updated their website. Um, you know, this article was posted on February 7th, 2013. So it's a fairly old one, but I know since then they updated their website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy the title of the article and I'm going to come over here to their search. Most websites have a search function and I'm going to search for it. Survival medical supplies and it will quickly search their website and you can kind of look down for it. And there it is right there. Survival medical supplies, February 7th. And you click on it and you can read that article there. All right. So that's one way to to take care of that. And that is if you click on it and it does go to the website, but the, for whatever reason, the article is not there. Now, um, the, the one thing that I would do want to show you though, is a lot of the times, and the reason I'm writing this article is that a lot of preparedness websites do shut down. And when they shut down, all their content is gone. You know, they lose all their content. I would rather, I, hopefully if, if you're listening to this and you are a webmaster and you decide to close your doors at some point, uh, it would be great if, especially if you're on WordPress, is like download it and then at least put it on a free WordPress site so that it, it can at least stay up there. But a lot of the times people, and you know, for whatever reasons, I mean, you know, something happens and they never go renew and it just kind of gets lost. But I want to show you something here that's very beneficial. Uh, I'm in herbs and I'm going to come down here and this article right here, I want to click on this one, herbs that repel pests. Uh, this was in uh, 2012, I'm sorry, uh, 2012, January 2012. So I'm going to click on this one and it's going to go to uh, the website called countryconsultant.com. And back in the day, that was a great website, but it's gone. So you can kind of see it's not here, uh, countryconsultant.com. Uh, it has some kind of placeholder. Uh, you might be able to buy it. It says site is under construction. So maybe they still own the domain, but it's just, they're not hosting or anything, but you're like, man, you know, dang, I wanted to, you know, be able to read that article. So what, what am I going to do? So there is an internet archive that you can go to and it's called the Wayback machine. If you just go to Google and type in Wayback machine, you'll see it. First one that pops up, it's the internet archive. Right. Now, the great thing about, you know, what Prepper website does is it sends you to the actual link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link right here. 
and I'm going to go and type it and paste it in right here in the Wayback Machine and browse the history. Um, now, just depending on how long it might take, you kind of see it, it was thinking there. And so here it is. So um, it's still kind of hitting it. So this 2017, 2016, nothing in 2015. This 2014, 2013, it looks the same. I'm going to go to, to where this article was first written. So I'm going to click on 2012. I think I'm there. Okay. And so um, all these little blue dots, it's times where the Internet Archive kind of went out and took a, a screenshot or a picture of, uh, of this website. Uh, and so you can it's more than a picture, though, but, you know, took a took a sampling of it. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these little blue dots and it's going to take me to uh, the Wayback Machines version of it. So uh, I'm going to scroll down here. And you see that it is, it's all white. A lot of the times they're doing that maybe to save space, but the actual article is here, you know, uh, it's right, right in here. And so you can go ahead and, and read what it was. So uh, if, you know, here are some herbs for you to consider in your garden as pest repellents along with the pest, they're reported to repel. So pest, ants, you want to repel ants, tansy and wormwood, plant those and those herbs and it will repel those. Um, so if you click on sometimes, let me go back to the Wayback Machine. Depending on which one you click on, sometimes it shows you the website a little bit. There it goes. Shows you the website a little bit more intact. And that one doesn't look very good. So I'm going to continue going. I want to go to 2012. There it goes. And from what I remember, I think that's more what the, the country consultant will kind of look at, like right there. And so you see on this one, I mean, it even has the uh, it even has ads. There's proper website right there. Um, it even has uh, ads over here on the side. So this probably is what it looked like more. Uh, it's not going to have uh, a lot of the graphics and things but it will be there. So if there's ever uh, a time where you go to the tag cloud and you click on a, a link that it doesn't show up anymore, you can always do that. Go to the Wayback Machine and uh, pull it up and you'll be, uh, you'll be good to go. All right. So hopefully uh, the tag cloud will be valuable to you and all the articles that we've ever posted will be valuable to you as well. All right. Thanks for watching.